This was an excellent article in the Wall Street Journal about a large hedge fund capital company who's migrating their investments from uh, hard real estate assets into more cyber-related assets. And we'll talk about how that relates to insurance momentarily, but this Colony Capital sell is selling its warehouses and hotels and investing into cell towers, data, center, data centers, and other digital infrastructure. Uh, and it, it makes sense, right? I mean, even with the pandemic, we've seen where certain traditional commercial real estate has not been in favor as much as uh, other types of um, assets. You know, uh, work from home is a big deal. A lot of um, cyber type assets are a big deal. And, you know, in this particular case, the chief executive has 30 billion in digital infrastructure assets, right? Um, so they're investing more in things that are 5G, phone and data services, um, autonomous vehicles, farm equipment. But if that's the case, if people are going to be shifting from commercial real estate into other digital assets, how does that affect insurance? Well, insurance risks and insurance risk coverage could also shift at the same rate. For example, one of the most common types of coverages on a commercial policy is fire, right? So if your building burns down, they pay to fix your building. One of the types of risks that's not included in most policies is cyber coverage. If you have a hack, if you have some type of cyber intrusion, if you have some type of um, you know, risk where your, your company's data is, is uh, infiltrated. So the, if you think about businesses and what loss of potential uh, assets or loss of potential uh, dollars, most businesses have never heard of somebody's building burning down. But almost every business has heard of a cyber intrusion. The risks, in my opinion, are going to be higher for cyber liability than they will be for physical structure liability. You know, fire risk has gone down dramatically with, you know, advanced sprinkler systems, you know, fire responses, um, loss control measures where you have to put in certain uh, requirements by code and by permits for electrical and other, um, you know, building codes. So the fire risk has gone down in the last 40, 50 years dramatically. And that's the major coverage on policies. You still want to have coverage for that. Don't get me wrong. But the, the risk of the future and the insurance uh, coverage risk of the future is going to be more cyber related because there's much more liability for losses and much more risk of, of catastrophic loss from a cyber claim than there is from a building burning down in the future because the, the fire risks is lower uh, and the cyber risk is higher. And that not, hasn't necessarily been reflected in ratings on policies and premiums on policies. Uh, so this is a good example where this may not seem it has to do with insurance, but here's a, a company with tens of billions of dollars in assets shifting to digital type investments where at the same time that investments are going to digital infrastructure, risk is also going to shift from physical damage risk into cyber type risk. So if you're a business owner or you're an insurance producer or an insurance company, you may want to consider the evolution of asset retention and asset risk from the more physical to the virtual. And that will be a great kind of projection of thought of what your activities are going to be in the future if you're an insurance producer what you're going to sell right you're going to sell policies that are going to be related to cyber versus building burning down and the same for a business owner you want to look at what risk you have if tomorrow you walked into your office and all your cloud data your server uh, all your customer information had all vanished or was locked up what are you going to do would that be more catastrophic than if your building burned down? If your building burned down, in theory, you could buy five thousand dollars worth of computers, rent a virtual, uh, rent a, a temporary office space, and be back in business the next day or forty-eight hours later. If you lost all your digital capacity, and all your customer data, and all your uh, maybe producer data, or your supplier data, or your accounts receivable, you may not be able to be in business two days later, right? Until you get that access back. 
you don't have paper books and records you can restore. So having that coverage for an e at least thought process of what your cyber liability might be is an important evolution from the physical to the virtual to make sure your assets and your coverages and your risk are both understood.